Well, gang, I guess we can officially wrap this up, this Christmas up, and call it a success. Mom, stop with the Christmas puns. Yeah, you promised to stop. Kids, your mother just loves this time of year. You know how I get around Easter. <laughs> now, who could that be? Oh, that must be Debbie. Who's Debbie, Dad? Uh, she's a new neighbor a few doors down. Uh, she moved in by herself a few weeks back. I saw her and learned she had no one to spend Christmas with, so I decided to invite her over. Honey, you never told me about this. <laughs> it's fine, sweetheart. She's harmless. She had nowhere to go. Yeah, Mom, everyone deserves to be with people on Christmas Day. Well, I guess. <laughs> Thank God you opened the door when you did. That crazy neighbor across the street started yelling at me because I tore up her tulips yesterday. Well, I bet they look better in your home. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Deborah, right? Uh, you can call me Deb, no need for formalities. Or you can call me what my parents call me, Dirty Deb. Or what they called me when I was a kid, Demolition Derby Deb. <laughs> can we just use your government name? My government name is Collateral Damage, but <laughs> you can call me whatever you like. Anywho, I brought presents for y'all. Oh, no way! More presents! Mm -hmm. I've been watching y'all, so I know what you like. <laughs> no, you shouldn't have. This is for you, little lady. Oh my gosh, candy straws! Whoa! Oh my <laughs> What's this other thing, Mom? My first pregnancy test. Deb, why do you think this is appropriate to give to a 10-year-old? <laughs> 10 years old? She should have had this three years ago. What are you doing? She could be pregnant for all we know. <laughs> she is not pregnant. Honey, do you like pickles? Yeah. <laughs> Bun in the oven, huh? <laughs> and this. Now for you, young man, and you should know, this is the number one most important thing that a man must have. Oh, is it a gun? <laughs> Honey, you don't have a gun? Gregory, he should have had that gun age by four. Huh. <laughs> oh, it's a bath towel! Sweet. And what's this, Dad? I don't think I've ever seen these before. <laughs> and for you, oh, a new pair of glasses. Thanks, mm -hmm. Deb. I just lost mine. I know you just lost. Deb, these are just my old glasses with a bullet hole in them. <laughs> uh, bullet hole, Richard? Yes. Glasses? Absolutely not. I did not take your old glasses. What are you implying? It says, if found, please return to Greg Miller and. Then my phone number. What is this bullet hole from? Uh, consider it a nice little present. All my clothes have bullet holes in them. <laughs> and last but not least, for you first. Oh my god. Deb, this is beautiful. Where the hell did you get this? Well, I, I was looking through the windows after my morning poop down yonder by the soccer fields, and I was looking through the window and I saw this beautiful diamond ring and said, Christine has got to have that. So I grabbed a rock, um, <laughs> got through the pesky window, and uh, got you the diamond. Oh, they're boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Young man, you should never be using that with your father. That is highly inappropriate. <laughs> Only use that with your sister. <laughs> All right, Deb. It's been a pleasure, but I think it's time for you to go. Time to go, but nobody's tried my sloppy joes. No, oh, she can't leave. These are the best gifts ever. <laughs> but I got you that, that Barbie dream house you've been asking for since oh. August. But the Barbie dream house doesn't make me feel light in the head. <laughs> and no one's gonna mess with me with my new boxing gloves. <laughs> Let me tell you all about my father. Maybe wondering who the nightcap are. You look sus. But you didn't delete the nudes she sent you. They're going to burn to death up she there. Can help you hide a body? Jalen bringing raccoons into the house is not a hobby. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I'm sorry, thank you.